Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. This time we are going to talk about yet another continuous controller. This time we are talking about a D controller. So we had a P controller, which was a proportional element. We had an I controller, which was an integrating element. And now we are going to talk about a D controller, differential controller, de derivation controller, D controller. The transfer element, or the, the, the transfer function of a P-controller was the transfer function of a P-element. Mm -hmm. The transfer function of an I-controller was the uh, transfer function of an integrating element. And the transfer function of a D-controller must then be huh? not the transfer function of a D-element. <laughs> I once said that the element is pretty theoretical and it's not existing at all. So we are not using the transfer function of the D element, we are using the transfer function of a DT1 element. Yeah? So the transfer function of the regulator, of a D regulator, is the transfer function of the DT1 element, which is STD divided by 1 plus st1. Okay, this is the transfer function of a D controller. And now let's imagine what the D controller is doing. D controller, it is reacting on the change rate of the deviation. So if we could imagine something where we far away, where the the controlled variable and the reference variable are really far away, but constant. Huh? The, the deviation is constant. The D controller does not even care. Said, okay, there is deviation, but it is constant. I don't really care. At least it is not getting worse. Yeah, yeah. this is why this is not really used. This is, this is not usable. Yeah? There can be control errors, control deviation, whatever value, as long as they remain constant, the D-controller is not reacting at all. Uh, if they change a little bit, then there is something, it will never get stable, it will never reach the, the desired value. I mean, this is absolutely clear. This is why a D-controller is never used alone. Yeah? So, it is not used alone not used alone. However, sometimes, quite sometimes, we are adding a D-controller to other controllers. Because the D-controllers, and now I'm already a little bit ahead of our what we know about, a D-controller, we said a D-element has a phase value of plus 90 degree. And this helps us in stabilizing. Yeah? We will see later, phase values do have influence on how stable a system is. Yeah? And positive phase values do help to stabilize a system. Yeah? So we are often using D controller inside other controllers, yeah? a side kicking or <laughs> to stabilize a system. Yeah? Write it simply, is often used additionally to add stability to a control system. So, never used alone, however, as part of some more controls, yeah, it is used yeah, and is helping us. How we combine these parts, yeah, we will see next time. Yeah? Next time we are going to combine a P controller and an I controller in the next video. So, we are, we are doing a PI controller. Yeah? 
This is our first combined controller, continuous controller. This will be then in next video. For this, pretty short, because it is not simply not used video. I say thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.